describe the moment when you saw the people struggling in the water? Oh, oh okay, yes. Um, it was uh, it was late after afternoon. Mm -hmm. That time uh, we, we was already off duty, but our luckily I was I was still here uh, where we working uh, to our tower. So one the one guy the Indian shoot one the Indian guy uh, came came to us. He said he said uh, there's a guy out there swimming. He don't know he he, he don't know he can swim or not, and they. You don't know if he's drowning. So I went there and had a look. The guy was struggling to swim. Mm. Then I went back and checked the rescue boat. Mm -hmm. So, I, yes, so I went out and then I was thought maybe I'm going to save one guy. When I get there, I saw another three, mm. like, struggling to swim. Wow. Yes, so... Uh, luckily, our uh, uh, the rescue boat is is, is quite big, eh? mm -hmm. So I said I said to all of them, okay, because uh, there were four of them. I said let's all hang into uh, to this rescue boat until until someone uh, came and helped us. So um, as we're hanging, we, we see the time is. Is going and then it's getting dark and, and dark. Uh, so I said to them, "Hey guys, you see no one coming to to come and help us. So let's try to keep until we get to the uh, where we normally set the bedding area. So uh, because in there where we setting the bedding area, uh, it was a like, small waves was like breaking." Mm -hmm. So if the if the, if the waves breaking, so once we get to the wave, it's gonna be easy because the waves gonna push us out. So then we like we was like carry on like kicking until we get to the uh, where we normally set the bedding area. As we get there, the wave push us until we get to the shore.